गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास टुडे और एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू फाइंड द सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी ऑफ ए गिवन वुडन ब्लॉक यूजिंग द टू मेथड्स दैट इज द पैरल फोर्स अपरेटर्स एंड द जोमेट्रिकल मेथड नाउ वी विल फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डिफाइन व्हाट इज सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी अ सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी मे बी डिफाइंड एज अ पॉइंट वेयर द रिजल्टेंट ऑफ ऑल द फोर्सेस एक्टिंग ऑन द बॉडी आर फाउंड टू बी और सेड टू बी कंसंट्रेटेड टुडे आवर एक्सपेरिमेंट इज टू फाइंड आउट द सेंटर ऑफ ग्रेविटी ऑफ अ गिवन वुडन ब्लॉक this is our given wooden block we have this wooden block with a figure from forming with four sides a b a c c d and b d also we have three holes in it hole number 1 2 and 3 we need to find the center of gravity of this block using two methods out of this there are two methods first method is to use the parallel force apparatus this is our parallel force apparatus here we will place this block on this beam now center of gravity of a point for this block can be found out by this method in this method we will place the object or this block using the edge a b first we have placed this object on this parallel beam now we will define a certain distance as prescribed by the our teacher that is our a distance from a edge this is our a distance we can measure it using our ruler scale we will now also note down the reactions of these two springs we can adjust these springs to zero value using this side knob and we can note down the reactions ra and rb now we will proceed and we will place this wooden block along the other side that is perpendicular to this side this is a c side now we will again have a, another distance uh, b this distance can be also be given by the teacher or can be taken as another distance from a that is already when we used now we will again note down the reactions r a and r b now we will use these reactions and calculate the moment about any point for example this is our one point or second point we will use the moment equation that moment equation is w into a plus x is equals to rb into l where rb is the reaction of the b point and l is the length of this whole beam w into a plus x w is the weight of this block a is this distance and x is the distance that is from this side of x of ab edge for this is this edge ab this is the x distance that is the center of gravity in the x direction of this blocks now we will again calculate for the y coordinate that we have calculated along the ac edge this is the center of gravity point from another edge from this edge that is from ac edge now we will again use the moment equation for y coordinate that is w into b plus y is equals to rb into l rb is the reaction l is the whole length b is this distance and y is the coordinate for center of gravity for this side now we will ha we have these two coordinates x and y now we will use a graph paper we will trace this block on the graph paper and mark these x and y coordinates along the x and y coordinates along the ab edge and the ac edge this is our first part of the experiment that is finding out the center of gravity of this block using the using the uh, parallel force apparatus we can do this experiment using the bolts also and without the bolts also we can have these bolts also placed like this now we will have again another reactions value we will have different cg points for this block so we can have two methods for solving this now as we have discussed earlier the, that was the method of finding out the center of gravity of this point, of this block using the parallel force apparatus now that was the first method now the second method is by using the 
centroid or the uh, geometrical method of finding the center of gravity of this block for a prescribed number of bolts fitted in it as given by the teacher. For example, we have this block, we have these four coordinates A, B, C and D. We will trace it on a graph paper. I, I uh, will show a, a large view of this block here. Now we have this block A, B, C and D as traced on the graph paper. Now we will try to find out the centroid of this of this uh, block or figure using the geometrical coordinate method. In this method, we will first divide this block into two triangles. We can do this by drawing a diagonal ac across A, D. We have joined this. Now we have two triangles A, C, D and A, B, D. We will now try to find out the centroid for these two triangles. The centroid for these two triangles are uh, J and K. These J and K have the coordinates x1 and y1 and K have x2 and y2. This is our three holes that we have 1, 2 and 3. How we can find out these J and K coordinates? We can find out this by using the midpoint method. In this we will divide the two sides into two, into two parts, equal parts and we will join them with the opposite coordinate that we have. For example, in this we have this D point, we have the opposite side as C A. We will divide it into two and we have the midpoint as E. Same we have in this side also C is the is the uh, edge and A D is the side opposite to it and we, we will divide into it into two parts that is A G and G D. So, we have this G point as the midpoint. Now, as we have this midpoint inter intersection point as J, this is the centroid for this triangle for A, D, C. Similarly, we will do this method for second triangle that is A, B, D. We will divide it into two mid sections that we have early, early found for A, D edge. We will again do it for the A, B edge and the point found is F point. We will join these points and we will have the uh, centroid of this triangle as K whose coordinates are X2 and Y2. Now we ha also have the coordinates for these circles also that are the holes in this block that are 1, 2 and 3. The coordinates for these circles are for 1 are X3, Y3, for 2 are x4 y4 and for 3 are x5 y5. Now, we will try to find out the weightage of these two triangles and the two circles. The two triangles can be uh, weightage can be found out by the formula that m1 is, is the weightage of a d c triangle and m2 is the weightage of triangle a b d. Now, m1 can be found out by this formula that is a d into c i divided by 2. A D is the edge, this edge and C I is the perpendicular distance of perpendicular for drawn from C to, to the A D edge. Now, we have this uh, weightage of this triangle as half base into height that is A D into C I divided by 2. Similarly, for A B D triangle, we have the weightage M 2 as A D into B H divided by 2. We will draw a perpendicular from B point to H. Now, we have the weightage of the triangle A, A, B, D as A, D into A, D into B, H divided by 2. So, we have the weightage of these two triangles. Now, the weightage of the holes can be found out by area of the circle that is pi D square divided by 4, where D is the dia of these hole of these holes or the dia of this hole A, 1, all these dia are same, so we will take them as D. Now we will find out the centroid for this whole figure using the formula x is equals to x1 into m1 plus x2 into m2 minus sin into my m3 
इंटू में एक्स थ्री प्लस एक्स फोर प्लस एक्स फाइव डिवाइडेड बाय एम नाउ वी हैव वी विल सी दैट देर इज अ नेगेटिव साइन थ्री सर्कल्स वन टू एंड थ्री दिस इज बिकॉज देयर देयर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन दिस डायग्राम इज नेगेटिव और देर इज दे आर नॉट इन दिस ब्लॉक एज वी कैन सी दैट दीज होज आर हॉलो सो वी यूज अ नेगेटिव साइन फॉर दीज कॉर्डिनेट एक्स थ्री एक्स फोर एंड एक्स फाइव एंड वाई थ्री वाई फोर एंड वाई फाइव फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट दिस सेंटर फॉर दिस ब्लॉक सिमिलरली वी कैन यूज दिस सेम फॉर्मूला फॉर फाइंडिंग आउट दी वाई कॉर्डिनेट्स फॉर सेंटर फॉर दिस ब्लॉक बाई यूजिंग द फॉर्मूला वाई इज कल्स टू वाई वन इंटू एम वन प्लस वाई टू इंटू एम टू माइनस एम थ्री इंटू वाई फोर प्लस वाई फाइव प्लस वाई थ्री डिवाइडेड बाई एम सो वी हैव दिस सेंटर फॉर दिस होल ब्लॉक नाउ दैट इज स्मॉल एक्स एंड स्मॉल वाई now we will use this xy coordinates for finding out the center of gravity of this block of this given block this can be find out by using the formula that if we assume that the weight of this block is w w w subscript w that is the weight of this uh, wooden block and the assume that the weight of this single bolt that we have here This is the single bolt. This is the weight of the single bolt. We will measure it. And what is the weight of this bolt? We will measure. It. We will denote it by W B. We have a certain weight weight of it. W B. So now we will use the formula for finding out the coordinate for x and y for center cent center of gravity of this block when there are certain number of fitted blocks in it. For example, if we have one block, a uh, one bolt fitted in this block. so we will use a negative sign for these two bolts and a positive sign for uh, for this bolt as it is contribute at it is contributing some weight to this block so we will use the formula that x is equals to w of the weight of the block into x plus w that is the weight of the bolt into x3 plus x4 plus x5 divided by weight of this whole block uh, whole setup that is w now w is the weight of this wooden block plus bolts that are contributing to it similarly we will do this for finding out the y coordinate that is the other side coordinate that is this this coordinate this side coordinate formula can uh, again be used that is y is equals to w into y weight of the wooden block plus the weight of the bolt into y3 plus y4 plus y5 divided by w now the positive signs for this x3 x4 and x5 and y3 y4 and y5 for finding out the center of gravity of this wooden block can be taken as positive or negative if they are contributing then the sign is positive if they are not contributing then their sign is negative so we can uh, use these two formulas to finding out the coordinates x and y using the geometrical method finding out the center of gravity of this block so these two are the methods that we can uh, use for finding out the center of gravity of this wooden block by having certain number of bolts fitted to it in the given holes 1 2 and 3 we will compare these two methods by calculating the error in these two methods that is the parallel for apparatus we have a certain x value and the geometrical method we have the x value we will compare these two values and we will note down the errors for x as well as y coordinate and we will draw these coordinates on the x and y uh, on the graph paper using the trace paper or the graph paper and we will have the coordinates for this block